Welcome to a special edition of the Unsanctioned Podcast. I'm Luis Vasquez. This is Jay Holland. And I'm Julio June. Wow, Julio June, the pigeon dropped yeah, the worm yeah, early yeah, this time. Right. Yeah, we, we sent the pigeon out five hours ago. You must bro. be on that Amazon Prime. You know why? When it's special, I'm here on time. That's right. This okay. episode is going to feature not the best tag teams, right? We're going to make that clear. Yes. But the best tag team names in wrestling history. Yes, this is an unsanctioned podcast one-off, man. You already know. This is the unsanctioned podcast. We are now being sanctioned over your airwaves. Let's get it. Oh my, from the grind to the trap. If you get money, homie, show me where you at. Show me where you at. Show me, show me where you at. Yeah. If you get money, homie, show me where you at. Oh my, from the grind to the trap. If you get money, homie, show me where you at. Show me where you at. Show me, show me Can we agree that is like... The new unsanctioned anthem. I think we can agree. And once again, shout out to you know Empala, Empala and Just Money, man. Make sure you, you guys check for Empala on iTunes, MPA, LA, all across iTunes, man. Check them out. That's definitely a banger. Bringing us to the new unsanctioned podcast banger. Best tag team names in wrestling history. Again, not to be confused with the best tag teams in wrestling. Yeah, so I'm interested to see what names we come up with, guys. I, I think we're gonna come up with some good ones. You do you? I think we're gonna come up right. with some good ones. I'm interested to see what Let's start we throwing with. them out. Let's go. Let's do it. You know what? Let's do it. You know what? I asked you both to come up with your top five lists. Oh, so man. You're going to be challenged. In no particular order. What if I didn't order, do my homework? In you know no what? particular order. I got to be honest, Julia. I thought you asked for my top five tag teams of all time. And one God, of my one of the, the names question. on my list has to come off. Mm, come like, off? Yeah, it has to come off. The, uh, I mean, Hardy Boys is not a creative tag it's team. It's not man. a creative that, tag that, team. That, that has you know what, Jay? When you he sent probably me confused list, with the best tag team. We just told people not to confuse with. When you sent me your list i said hardy boys yeah that's okay. exactly. me too <laughs> me too so, me too okay. so, 100%. So, and then i had to reread the text i was like <laughs> yeah oh damn so yeah. i, I no, had to no, omit no, that no no ladies and gentlemen we are talking about the best tag team can i throw one out there can i go time. first don't get mad at me if go i said you yours. leave everything else go ahead All right. everything you know everything's on the table is the unsanctioned podcast don't get mad at me if i took yours because you're letting me go first all right the best one is the bar oh my god the bar because he finally is being recognized as a tag it's team. It's closing because time. They're not Seamus and Cesaro Trinity's anymore. They actually have a name. They have a name that goes with their gimmick. And I love it, man, because they really are raising the bar as two people who are who were considered at one point the most unlikeliest tag really team to happen. The bar? Are they really raising the bar? Yeah, they're the raising bar. the bar. Do you see their t-shirts? Really? Their merch is crazy. Yeah. I want to buy that. I think we I found two more people for Luis to stable. I love that. Uh. They... Seamus and Cesaro as the bar only are in my stable. <laughs> yes, come on in, guys. They're in my stable. I'll, I'll uh, happily take them in with Shane the McMahon bar. and Kevin Owens. All right? You guys adopted them for me the into bar. my stable. The sure. Bar. No problem. The bar. The bar. Setting the really? bar for today's tag team division. Uh, All right? We're talking about names, not the actual. If, if, if Cesaro and oh, Seamus left WWE, as the bar and continued competing as the bar, you'd be like, holy shit, the bar and NJPW is going to take on X, Y, nope. and Z. You know why? It'd be a big deal. You know why? It'd be a big deal. You know why I won't? Come on. Because I'm going to be like, the Young Bucks. You like the Young Bucks? The Young Bucks. Yes. The Young Bucks. They're definitely a better name than the bar. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I mean, I, I, I'll look at like, what bar? That. What are we talking about? I didn't Cascade say the bar. Flagging. I didn't say the bar is the best of all time. I said it's, it's Game one of the on. best names. The, damn, where do you go? Where? I'm saying what bar? Like, oh, okay. You know what I, mean? I didn't but say the, young the bar. Bucks, you know, you want, the bar is it's, it's original, and you understand it, man. Mm-hmm. That's what. That's I don't. I'm like, are they taking the log exam? Like, <laughs> no, I mean, you know, it comes from Vince McMahon making that one-off comment on a Steve Austin podcast where um, he talked about raising the bar and meeting the bar, and Cesaro obviously the took offense to that. Um, and I, I'm sure Sheamus felt some type of way, but we're talking about the best names of all time, man. The bar. 
<laughs> the bomb. You know, we have we we have to show love to every generation. I'm trying to. So I'm, 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 I'm pretty sure he is pocketing on. WWE. Oh, please, that's you. If, if you want to hear who's pocketing WWE money, listen to our previous episode. He is previewing pocketing. Hell in a Cell and talking about Raw SmackDown and all that. This man Jay is being paid either by WWE or Enzo Amore. <laughs> it's pretty obvious, pocketing. and you're not cutting it up the three bar ways. Being the greatest, one of the you're greatest not splitting it up three ways. All time. I don't know yeah. the bar. The the bar. bar is a pretty horrible I would have went with Rock and Sock Connection, bro. <laughs> Which might be a better uh, name than the bar. Exactly. Actually, the Rock and Sock Connection the is body on dollars. my list. Jay, the Rock and Sock Connection is on my list, man. It's on my list. You need to think original original material. Right, the so Rock and Sock Connection is guns? two different worlds coming together. I'm making my case. I'm I, making my case. Can, the Rock right. and Sock Connection. So, dude, two worlds coming to together. Do. You would never suspect it, just like Seamus and Cesaro we need to becoming do. one We need to find. We need to find team. grounds, basically a baseline. All right, we have to find some A criteria? Grounds. We have to find, yes, a criteria. Thank you for Get the word. I, I was no searching problem, for it. Know. We need to find a criteria. I went to college, bro. I, I did too. I have my bachelor's <laughs> and an associate's. Thank you very oh! much. You know what I mean? Educated, but Edumacated. we need to find a criteria to base these on mm. because the so bar is So what's your criteria? Not, the bar is freaking original as hell, man. I think, I think, no, I think what it has the to be. The Rock and Sock Connection, memorable and yes. marketable. And, and, that, and that is, that, that's, that's two of the criteria. It has to be memorable. Yes. Marketable, yes. And I think the third criteria is coolness factor. Like, what do you want? Yes, you have to factor <laughs> oh, in their on, theme song. You the have theme to factor. Song. Come on, we're man. talking about just the names. We're not talking about the best. No, 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 no. no. Oh, no. Why bring it somewhere time. else? No, 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 hit me out. Hit me out. The no. bar and rock and sock hit connection. Me out, hit me out. And the reason Come why on, I say man. this is Come because on, Jay. when you think of Money Inc., the theme song, that's a great tag team name. And you know what, Jay? That is on my list. Ooh. Yes, Ooh. money and it comes with money. Inc. The is a DBS great one. tag team name. You know why? Because Stone it's Cold a tag segment. team name, and it makes sense for the two dudes who were in the tag team. It was, one was about money. They both were. Was it, they were both about money, and they were corpor- in the corporation. So money Inc. fit. Yeah, I mean, Inc. I like yeah. money Inc. as a name. Yeah, and, and, and it, it made sense with business. If you if yeah. you make money, you got to get taxed. And then that's what I'm saying. Like, I, I, you know what I mean? What I meant, right. like, you know what I mean? The theme song. I'm a, I should have said overall theme. It has to blend together. So we want to base the best tag So you're saying Cesaro names. and Sheamus don't blend their entrance music well? You they do. Uh, they definitely about do. Music, right? They definitely do. Uh, Isn't it? It works. It I was, works. Listen, we're talking they about come out separately. When we go out strictly off the name, just the name of the bar just doesn't do it for me. It doesn't do it for it's me. It's because it's still like new. Like the name of this following tag team and for you old school Dude, wrestling it's still fans. New. It's still new. That's why. It could be a hundred years old. The bar doesn't do anything for me. I've we'll got see. I've 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 got a tag team name that will 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 be nostalgic right. for a lot of us. What the British Bulldogs. Hmm. Now that's a tag team name right there. The Dynamite King and David Boy Smith. Boy Smith. The British Bulldogs. They both were British, first of all. Yep. Uh, there were dogs in the ring, meaning they would come at you, wouldn't stop coming at you. Yep. Uh, and they had Matilda, who was a bulldog, so it fit. The British Bulldogs. And, and David had, Boyd took over the moniker. And had, <laughs> right, because the name yes. was, the name of the tag team was so good, it became this man's name by himself for the rest of his career. <laughs> it's one of the greatest tag team names of all time. I'll give you that. The British Bulldogs. It was that great, he took it on. You know what? The British Bulldogs. You know what I'm going to take? I'm going a, I'm to a, I'm a have to take it back for y'all. Mm. I'm going to go with Harlem Heat. Harlem oh, Heat's a great name. You. Yes, 100%. Jay. You, never, you never go wrong with alliteration. For the first time this yes. month, I agree with you. A great tag team name, uh, Harlem Heat. I agree with you, Jay. I got to go with Harlem Heat. And the yes, reason why Harlem everything Heat. about Harlem Heat, from their look to their, I mean, their attitude, their attitude yes. to even their, their, their attire, mm-hmm. to the music, even no matter, depending the music on music especially. Yeah, connecting the point you were trying and to make earlier. And the entrance yes. all together. It was a, a complete package. Perfect package. Yep. Yeah, yes. I mean, to the point that Booker T, even when he went on his singles run, except for a minor point in time, <laughs> actually used that as his singles competitor. Even though neither of them are from Harlem. Exactly. Houston. The name fit. True. The name fit. True. The name fit. That's true. Really? Uh, what do you guys think about, I want to toss this one out there. I want to toss two out there. And they're very notable names. One, the Bushwhackers. To the Nasty Boys. Debate that. Go ahead, guys. I'm going to say the Bushwhackers. <sighs> and that's exactly where I was going. <sighs> the Nasty Boys are a little bit more uh, iconic. Like more iconic. Uh, both both nowadays, when you think about them, sound like a, a name you would find on like Pornhub oh, no. or something like that. <laughs> you would find in the WWE. Right. But. Oh, wow. <laughs> <Bushwhackers>. Ladies <laughs> but, and gentlemen, Julio June went there. 
Yes. We're about two minutes into this <laughs> podcast and he went there. But <laughs> but the Bushwhackers never did it for me. Now, the Nasty Boys? Yes. That's a good name. The Nasty Boys is a good tag team name. Original. And it's and original. It right on time. It, 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 yeah. it, you knew what they were about. The Bushwhackers, it's like, okay, what does that mean? As a kid, right. I was like, what does that mean? What 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 are, what are they bushwhacking? I, I, obviously, I didn't, know, <laughs> I didn't know they were from New Zealand. There was something about being them. from New Zealand, but... What does that mean? <laughs> you thought they were cutting uh, well, oh, Listen, cutting that, it might be stuff? what I think now, but. All right, I'm going to throw one out there. The Outsiders. Definitely great, on my a list. Great tag team. Bro. Oh, amazing. Yeah. And, and fit, it fit no. the situation perfectly. No, too. here's, here's what they, I got to ask. What do you mean? You here's what I got to no? ask. Did you just say no? No, it, it, no, I just got to play devil's advocate for a second. Oh, Is it really on. a Jay. great tag team name, or was it just the two individuals involved in that team? We're great together. It's both. It's a great tag team. It fits the situation, like Luis was saying. Yes. Of the time. It's perfect. The, the outsiders. The outsiders. Like, were, coming they, in they, to take they, over. That was a great name. Yes, it was, it was a great perfect. tag team. And One, great timing. One of the things with these things is timing. And this is this is the case of that. Same with the Harlem Heat. It's old school. But, Harlem Heat wouldn't work to get today. But I do feel like it's not really... That's a great tag team name, but it also it doesn't feel a tag, like a tag team name. But they continue tagging sense. for years, even like, though they had singles careers. Uh, like Harlem Heat. That's a tag team name. The Outsiders just kind of feels like two dudes. It was like an umbrella under yeah. the MWO. Yeah, like ah, uh, they became an umbrella uh, under the know. NWO. Here's a name for you: Demolition. Well, by far, yes. Mm. And if anyone says no, we're going to be fighting. You guys may hear some sound it's effects iconic. in the background. One it's of iconic. the greatest tag team names of all time: exactly. yes, Demolition. Yes, like sir. you Mash. knew what, what that was go- you getting into when you hear that name. Demolition. Can I throw one out there? The Brothers of Destruction. I was just thinking that, man. Ah, you must man, have, you you must have ESP, that. man. Like, <laughs> I was really just thinking that. These dudes, I, I, you can't think of a more iconic duo, man. I'm the Undertaker g- and Kane. I'm going to give you a very unpopular opinion. I do not like that tag team name. Why? Why? Tell me why. Uh, do, you re- do you remember the first time hearing it? I did. I do, too. I did. Okay. You What's remember them both opinion? on a ramp? I did. Raising his oh, arms? Just, I, oh, I don't know what else stuff. you could have named them, but it's just that the Brothers of Destruction I didn't really like. At first, I didn't mm. like it. It sounded like un- Brothers unoriginal. of Destruction should have been Earthquake and Typhoon. <laughs> <laughs> like, natural that's Disasters. That's, 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 that's a spin into that's Natural Disasters. The, the, the fact that Michael Cole kept repeating it so that we would call them that made me dislike the name in the beginning. But now looking back and looking at their careers, looking at what they were able to do together and their moments, they are the Brothers of Destruction. The name fits. The name it, does fit. It, it fits. The name does fit. Yes. I, I, the name fits only because I don't know what else you could have called those two. Right. Exactly. I really don't know Good what point. else you could have called those two. Good point. Oh, that makes them iconic, man. Brothers of Destruction. You know exactly what you're talking about. All right. Now, here's a question for both of you guys. And you guys have to choose one. Do you prefer the Road Warriors or the Legion of Doom? Ugh, this oh, hurts. man. This hurts. Oh, what a rush. <laughs> Clearly both on their own are great tag team names. Probably Agreed. the top two tag team names belong Agreed. to the same tag team. Agreed. I've always been partial to the Legion of Doom. Mm. It sounds menacing. The Road Warriors sounds menacing, but not like the Legion of Doom. Yeah, they sound like they're going to do damage. Like the Legion right. of Doom. Almost like the nation. Like, ah, it just fits you. You know what I mean? I like how WWE used to always like, you know how WWE has to feel like they have to own everything. They always always say, the Legion of Doom, the Road Warriors, Animal and Hawk. Right, right. Because yeah. they knew that they knew by the time Animal yeah. and Hawk got to the WWE, people knew who they were. You can't tell me those aren't the Road Warriors. Now here's a question for you: Would you consider Hold this? Luis, we, uh, before you jump, no, no, no I agreed. You, I agreed. Get yours, Legion of Doom. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. I agreed. I agreed. Hundred percent. Is the Hart Foundation a tag team or a stable? Oh, it it's is a both. Tag team it first. is both. Tag team first. It is both. Yes. But the name fits better as a stable. Yes. 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 I 100% agree. Yeah. But it, it, what we found out the Hart, we know the Hart Foundation and its inception. How it originated. From the tag, right. team. tag team. Yes. And, and it fit the tag team at the time because everybody in the tag team, even the manager, had Hart in their name. Can we show love to a previous guest? But not love as in like suck up to him, but to mention him. We had Thrasher on. What do you guys think of the Headbangers name? Name. Not legacy. Name. The Headbangers. Did that I, fit their honestly, time? Did it fit their yes. gimmick? You, you nailed it right on there. I think it fit their time. It fit their time, I think. Yeah, and it fit. But would I rank them all time greatest tag team names? No. You know what? I would think- you put them in the top 50? Mm. Of tag team names? Yes. Yes. 
Yes. I don't know. Me too. I mean, I can't think of 50 tag team names. Can you think of 50 tag team names? I think I can if you gave me about... No, no, not, not, not like come up with on the spot. I think of 50. Yeah. But would it sound correct for them to be on a top 50 list top for like tag team names? Right, but they... Yeah. What about top 25 tag no. team names? No. no. Ooh, cut, no. cut out right there. No. Okay. I okay. Mean, the Midnight Express. The Rockers. Rock and Roll Express. The Rock and Roll Express. I mean, there's, there's a the lot. Heavenly brain, Bodies. The Brain Busters. The Brain Busters. I mean... Yeah. Dudley Boys. Well, no, no. That's, I mean, that's more that's let, not, not, let's get let's get into something. The Eliminators. Here. I mean, there's so many. Eliminators is a very great tag team name. Very underrated tag team name. Yeah, Mr. Kronos and Perry Saturn yeah, himself. A great tag team name. Here's the thing with the Headbangers. I think they came from an era when wrestling kind of got bored with naming people. It's like, okay, we have to make sure whatever interests you or whatever your occupation is has to fit your name. And yeah. I feel like that's where the Headbangers came from. So I wasn't really into mm-hmm. the Headbangers name. Do you know what was a forced nickname, tag team name? Sorry. Do you remember when Stone Cold and Triple H teamed up? Oh, my gosh. The two-man power two trip. Two-man power trip. <laughs> Listen, a tag team name shouldn't have four different words in it. Oh, my God. That's a mouth. That's too <laughs> that's much. That's too much. That's too much. We're, gonna act, we're, we're just going to act like Luis didn't mention that. So not even next. market that. The two-man power I just, trip. I just thought of that. That's just like the two man that's, power that's trip. That's a perfect. That's a prime example. And the WWE words of trying to Charles force. Barkley. That's that, terrible. It's kind of like terrible. Yeah, I remember WWE had some horrible names right, in that era. But I would put a name like that in the same blender of thinking as where they got the Brothers of Destruction. Right. You know what I mean? Right. It's that kind of thinking, and sometimes it clicks, sometimes it doesn't. Again, going back to that era, I think they got lazy. The world's greatest tag team. Oh yeah. Like really? <laughs> you know who I want to really show love to? Public we got, enemy. We got, we got a public enemy is a dope public name. Enemy is a <laughs> name. Do not, you said that Shout in a sarcastic out way. To Shout Rock, out to public Rock enemy. and Johnny Grunge. I the love public that enemy name. is a love great it. tag team yes. name. I would but, take and, and it. And that, that perfectly segues into I want to show love. I want to show love to some ECW teams. Starting off with the Gangsters. The Gangsters is a good name. A little controversial, <laughs> obviously. <laughs> right into the uh, if they weren't who they were, I'd rather them not be known by that. But what about PG-13? Mm. Mm. Taking it back. Wolfie D. <laughs> Wolfie D, the original nation of Yo. domination. PG-13. The, the intro song. <laughs> they still in the nation still use yeah. that? Listen. But they used to rap. Remember the nation? Like, they used to have the, the rap songs. Wolf, yeah, it, yeah. Before they Wolf, Wolfie D. We yeah. are the nation. <laughs> PG thirteen. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. They, they the actually rock. had the rap in it. Yeah. it was, wasn't it the Rock no, who rapped no. it? Was no, it Farouk? No, 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 no. no. PG thirteen. It was PG thirteen. PG man. thirteen. Oh, it was a two, for the it's nation. Funny because it was like yeah. two oh, guys shoot. who looked white. I don't want to say they were white. Right, they, they were white. Were, they were fair skinned. <laughs> uh, they were clear. I think one one's from like Australia. So it was. <laughs> oh, okay. They used to come down to the ring and rap like during that little intro part. For, right like, after we are the nation, they they would rap. We are the nation. Like it was. I liked it. Yeah, PG thirteen is a good tag team name. I have a name that that isn't the best name, but they made it great. They made it. They made it work, and they made you love it because they they lived by it. The New Age Outlaws. That is a All great right, I'm about to say, tag team. For strike number two. But yeah, <laughs> New Age Outlaws is a great name. New Age game. Outlaws. They found a way to work that into how you perceived it, how you liked it. They made you like it. Oh, you didn't know. Your ass better call somebody. You, re- you want to know the reason why I really like that name, the New Age Outlaws? The lost? New Age Outlaws. And it is a mouthful, like we were just talking about, but it works. But like when two you look at power trip, the but New when Age you look Outlaws. At them too, it's four words. Like for like, I look when I think of Outlaws. When I, you know what I mean, I think of like old westerns and stuff like that. And that's them. But when I looked at like, when they don't I look play at by the too, rules. When I, yeah, when I look at the like, they they set their own trends. Right. They don't play by the you rules. Know what I'm they do their own thing. That's why I liked them a lot, honestly, and I like the name for I'll it. I'll tell you one thing. It's definitely better than the Rock and Talk Connection or the oh, bar. Man. <laughs> <laughs> or Chuck and Billy. 100%. Chuck and Billy. <laughs> Chuck and Billy. Listen, first of all, the biggest rule when you are naming a tag team, you can't be so-and-so and so-and-so. <laughs> That's not a tag team name. Two do. names and when you have the and in there, you're not a tag team. You're two guys thrown together. Oh, man. Mm. What Good about point. Doom. Doom's a good nice tag team name. Yep. Ron Simmons. Ron yep. Simmons. Yep. Butch Reed. Yeah. Good tag team. Doom. Tag team name. We said it before, the natural disasters. Yes. Earthquake and Typhoon. Those are two natural disasters. Formerly known as Tugboat. Formerly known as Tugboat. Great tag team name. Yeah. Here's one. Insane Clown Posse. 
Oh. Just kidding. Uh, <laughs> nah, I don't. I think you gotta Just put kidding. a. I think you gotta put an asterisk <laughs> because they were rappers for us. Julio June, that is an official Just one kidding. strike, one strike on you. <laughs> Just kidding. Oh man, let's get into some newer names. What about the Wyatt family? No, no, uh, the stable. Eh, stable. Is it a stable? Stable. Yeah. yeah. What about Crime Time? I hate that. I, name. I was not a fan. I hate that name. I was not a fan. Do you hate it because it's stereotypical? Yes. Yes. Hundred yes. <laughs> percent. Yes. And now you got what? What are they named? The prophets or whatever? The street, street prophets. Street prophets. Come on, man. That's crime time 2.0. And why they got to be? The why they got to be from the street? Stereotype. Yes. Why couldn't it just be the all prophets? black tech teams got to have, yeah, 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 have yeah, some yeah. black slang to it, like the prime street. time players. Can yep. I just get a regular tag team? That's Jeez. a black tag team. <laughs> right. For us, just, just, just like Without any black like, tag attached to it. Something like Black Dynamite, maybe? Uh, That's a new Japan, isn't it? So yeah, we said all reaching. wrestling. But no, no, I'm saying Are you're you a WWE guy. They, they, didn't, they didn't enter. <laughs> Stop it. You guys know. I don't know. Well, let's, well, let's, first, let's just say this. Well, well, we've got ECW, WWE, WCW. If now, WWE AEW. ever comes up with a tag team named Black Dynamite and there are are literally two black yeah. guys that they're calling Black Dynamite, we have problems. <laughs> yes. Absolutely. Yeah. We know, we know why. You know how they like to recreate about. things and cover the past. Like they're probably going to do with the Shinsuke Nakamura versus AJ Styles match. They're going to want to erase NJPW's version, which is a classic. Check that out. YouTube that. There's no erasing that match whatsoever. There's no what? There's no erasing that match. There's oh, okay, okay. okay. There's nothing. Yeah. I don't care. Like they can have a six star match in WWE, right. but yes. it is not nothing usurping their their first encounter with New Japan Pro Wrestling. Mm-hmm. Segue into that. What do we think about the tag team name, The Good Brothers? I think it's a bad name uh. for those brothers. <laughs> <laughs> it just seems like more of a gimmick for a tag team. Who already has a name, kind of. You know, it's just like it's confusing because it's like a nickname. What are their names? What is the Carl Anderson and Lou Gallows? What are they? What are they known the by? Club. They the were club. Well, well, actually, the uh, no, club. technically, technically, they go that was by with AJ. Luke Anderson. Luke <laughs> Gallows, right? I mean, Luke Gallows and Carl Anderson. Are they trying? Are they trying to rebrand them as the Good Brothers? I think so. Like Ooh, officially, like they've been calling them Good Good Brothers now they for were, a good time. I know they reference they it a not. lot. They better not. But I, I'd rather them wait on that like they did the bar name before they do anything else. <laughs> did Goldust and Booker T ever have a name? They were just Goldust and Booker T. Oh. And the golden truth and all that. Yeah, what's the golden was, truth? Golden truth is a good name. I like that. Yeah. It was, it was, what about oh, miserable? No, it was good. What about good. miserable truth? Yeah, no, nah. <laughs> not a good tag like, team. Like, nah. No, the reason why is because I, like they were just two guys thrown together. I didn't. What about Jericho? Show? Nah, I didn't like it's, it either. It's two names merged together. How about this? Gorillas of Destiny. You know what I mean New Japan? Come on, man. Ah, we're I mean. talking about Tamatanga. Yes, we're talking about your boy Ooh, Tamatanga. Yes, the bad that, boy. That is a great. That is a great tag team name. Yeah, I mean, if you look at the abbreviation, it's God basically. So that is a great. Oh, yeah, wow, I mean, that's a little much. I didn't think about that. We didn't touch on the Young Bucks though. I mentioned the Young Bucks, but we, we did a quick. No, no, no. I mentioned them, and it was quickly quickly ran over because you were still stuck on the bar. Are they in your top twenty five for tag team names? Yes. Top ten. Top ten. Ooh, oh, the top hesitation. Top, top ten. Not the even tough. I mean, the, the Young, young bucks, bucks is not going to be in the top ten. Top fifteen. Team names. Top fifteen. Top, top what? Top, top what, fifteen. Hey? Yes. Top, top 15. fifteen. Definitely. Okay. But like here's a here's high the thing. Top here's the thing with them is they can't go by the Young Bucks in like ten years. They're not going to be they young definitely bucks. They could. They got young looking faces, but no, no, no. they're going to be old. Like, like, <laughs> yeah, they're going to be Anyone who's seen the movie The Young Bucks, you you get the reference. True. 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 You know what I'm saying? True. True. I mean, they're new on the block. They're trendsetters, in which they're living up to the name as trendsetters. True. Uh, if you guys watch Being the Elite, which I seriously encourage you guys do watch because it is very interesting. And it, um, it, it, we all know how WWE may be with their talent. WWE, excuse me, may be with their talent. It features uh, Kevin Owens in one of the episodes and Sami Zayn and stuff. So, yeah, the Young Bucks do it for me as a, one of the top tag team names. What about... This didn't need need any like fancy moniker or anything like that. The pizzazz, Los Guerreros. 
No. Nice and original. It's basically the same. That's an official name. The Guerreros. That's basically what it is. It, it is original because it's, it's the like name the grandmother gave it. <laughs> yes, <laughs> but it's all you need. You, you know how many Guerreros are in the wrestling business, bro? But when you talk about Los Guerreros, you know who you're talking about. No. If you say nah. you know Los no, Guerreros. Come back. Are you talking about Hector? Are you talking about <laughs> never, never did it for me. Chavo? <laughs> Yeah. No. Chavo Senior, Chavo yeah. Classic, but that but they were branded Los Guerreros. The Goobly Gawker. What? If I said you remember when Los Guerreros won the tag team titles, for example, I, you would know what I'm talking about. Chavo and Eddie. I kind of I, oh, forgot about that. You mentioned him. Oh, here, here's one thing. Yeah. I think we're thinking of more the in, in ring competitors than we're thinking of the names. That name isn't as good as High Voltage. <laughs> Yo, he bought it back. High Voltage. <laughs> You said, high you high said, voltage. You said the Rockers. High voltage. high voltage. High voltage. That's wow. a great tag team name. Listen, the two guys weren't good, but the tag team name High Voltage. Yes, d- yeah, I that's a good name. I Old school. Those on WCW that's a good on Saturday. name. Listen, <laughs> definitely classic. Tri- trivia yes. question. Trivia question for for our listeners out there. If you can name me the two <laughs> names of the guys in High Voltage, we might invite we'll you Bucks to our you. next next WWE event that we attend. We might. Depending on how fast you guys were High going. voltage. And I'll give you a hint. Their names had something to do with electricity and energy. Both of them. But it's so funny you mentioned them. High wow. voltage. That's a good tag team name. Wow. Do Tell you, me that's not a great tag team name. It is, though. But it's wow. High do you remember? Fire and Ice. Remember that? Fire and Ice. Remember oh, that? Fire yeah. and Ice. <laughs> Scott, Scott Norton? Yes. Scott Norton. <laughs> you know, actually, matter of fact, TNA. Oh, uh, yeah. 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 Yeah, and baby. <laughs> they were a good tag team because of their manager. It, were, yeah. Their name fit because their manager. Hey, and so, was like we them. said, yes. the, in, in the, that's what made it in much better. Yes. Yes. In the criteria, it has to be the theme. No, the, the yeah, manager yeah, fits yeah, into the team theme. is a good name. Yeah. Yeah. What about, do you remember Arn Anderson being in a tag team? The Brain Busters. Brain Busters. The Brain Busters. Brain Busters. I like that name. We it's, mentioned it. No, really? We did. Yes, we, t- we, we, we glanced over it. We sipping from the cup again. I think, <laughs> I think it was just we, a real quick. We, we quickly glanced over it, but the Brain Busters, just get to it a little bit more, is a great tag team. Man. Yes. Um, amazing. You know why? Too. You know why? Because the name fit double reasons. Yes, Brain Busters, obviously, they beat people up, but they use their minds to do it, too. They were so exactly. smart as wrestlers, it's so the, the Brain Busters definitely fit. You know what other one I really like was Midnight Express. Midnight Express is a good tag team. Oh, nice, catchy name. Great tag team name. Yeah. Great yeah, tag Very marketable. From that era of great tag team names. Right. Of the late 80s, early 90s. Like I said, we touched on it real quick, but what do you guys think about the smoking guns? I love it. I loved it. As a name. As a name, Ooh, I loved it. June. So I, can, oh. uh, I hate I this era we have a of WWE ass. names. <laughs> smoking the guns. The smoking guns. But that's kind of where like the new age like, outlaws kind of came from. Uh, mm-hmm. No, uh, not the same vibe. I mean, if we think uh. about it, Road Dog was actually singing songs like "I don't know, I love my baby tonight." <laughs> yeah, but, but <laughs> I remember that. But the yeah, new the age outlaws come out with them too. Fit smoking guns is like cowboys in the nineties. Who's a cowboy in the nineties? And like the little pea shooters they used to come out. I just I never liked the smoking guns. You know who who is a great tag team. Which obviously is a different conversation than what we're talking about because we're talking about names strictly. But I'm surprised they didn't have a cool name ever, and they maybe didn't need it. Was Edge and Christian? Yeah, right. They were always referred yeah. to as Edge and Christian because even the Hardy Boys had the Hardy, Hardy Boys. boys yeah, the Dudley Z, Boys. You know? yeah, yeah. Edge and Christian never really had a name. They were. It's kind of like the Los Guerreros thing, but in English. Mm. Jay, yeah. what are you mm-hmm. about now? Like, come on. What is the unpopular mm-hmm. comment now for it this? It sucks to have an all-time tag team that has not a good, not a tag team. Just, name. And, and like you said earlier, anything with and, you're just being you're thrown just, together. You're just thrown together. Right? So yeah, they played into that stigma, but they made it work. I got one for you guys. And I'm going to test your trivia on this one, too. Okay. The Colossal Connection. A uh, horrible tag team name. Haku, Andre the Giant. Uh, horrible tag team name. I, I never liked that name. <laughs> the Colossal Connection? Haku's not even colossal. You, you sure? Yeah. Haku? I, I, Andre the Giant was colossal. Haku, the, the, the Haku's like 6'1", 280. Two, two, two Andre the Giant's like uh, 7 feet tall. Hey, Manga's probably the toughest guy. He is the toughest guy. If they call him the toughest connection, yes. The colossal <laughs> connection didn't fit. Ooh, what about the fabulous Freebirds? Great tag team. Yeah, the fact that we didn't even bring that up, we're, 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 we should be ashamed of ourselves. No, because you're leaving it for the main event. That's all it was. That, that's right. <laughs> the oh. best for last. The Hardliners? What do you guys think about that? Don't like it. Sounds like, I never liked that tag team name. It sounded like, again, something you would find on Pornhub. <laughs> sanity, sanity is well, the more faction. 
I don't know. See, you can't just be a faction to me if they're calling you the tag team champions. But it, they're a faction because Killian Dane's in there. Yeah, they're a faction. I mean, that's like the Shield when they had the tag titles. The Shield, I don't like as a name either. Yeah, I never liked the Shield as a name. I wasn't a big fan. I didn't buy into it. I like the Hounds of, of Justice before. though. Right, the Hounds of Justice. Hounds of Justice would have been a good tag team name. What about the Mega Powers? The Same Mega deal. Powers, old school. A great name. It fit because. The two dudes were the biggest and most powerful superstars of their time. Oh, yeah. What about the Ultimate Maniacs? Nah. That sounds too much like the Animaniacs. You, you were a fan <laughs> of the Ultimate Maniacs? No. Nah. Ultimate Warren. That's I would have went with onesie? the Mega Bucks before that. Did you guys Maniacs. ever like the VOD villains? Only because overall theme. The overall theme. It went. The overall theme. Everywhere. Off name alone, it didn't do it. Would they be top 50? No, they'd probably be like 51. You know who would? Yeah, right. <laughs> Thinking 52, maybe. 52. A name I did like, though, from the NXT era, The Authors of Pain. I like that name. Yes. Yes. That's yes. a great yes. tag That's team a great name. One. I love that. And you know what? Interesting that we say that. The greatest tag team of all time, we both have agreed, name of all time, Road Warriors, The Legion of Doom. Manager was? Paul Ellering. Manager of The Authors of Pain, Paul, Paul Ellering. Ellering. I'm thinking Paul Aaron came up with that name. I got, yeah. Thinking he came up with that name, ladies and gentlemen. I'm, I'm just saying, yeah. <sighs> I'm trying to think. It, it's pretty tough with those. Like, oh, can I can I say once to expand our league of promotions here? I was gonna I was gonna go with the skyscrapers. I wanted to know what you guys think about. Great this tag guy. team name. That's a great tag team name. I love it. I would take that on. Hey, that would have been a great name for the if Brothers someone, of Destruction. If, if we were going to be a tag team, I would say, let's do it. No problem. Awesome. Just like kind of like when you said Unsanctioned, Jay. I'll give you credit out here on the air. Unsanctioned came from you. And I was like, oh, that's great. That That's it. That's it. Stop. Just stop there. That, that's it. It was You just know when things click. So I, I got a question I was gonna, before you I was go gonna, to that. Oh, well, okay. Go ahead. Can I got you, it. Can you guys name who, who, go ahead. Was, who was in the Skyscrapers? First, originally started with Dan Spivey. And mm. Sid Vicious. Oh, now, do you know who Dan Spivey went on to become? Dan Spivey went on to become Wayland Mercy. Yes. Wow. Julio Jew. Don't ever question his religion. Julio and then, Jew. And then back to the skyscrapers, Sid Vicious got hurt and was replaced by Mean Mark Callowis Calloway, who then became The Undertaker. The Undertaker. Yes. Okay, I've got mine that I've been holding on, expanding our League of Promotions, Beer Money. TNA. Love it. Oh, my right. God. Love it. Yo, we got oh, it. I, I'm going to make a record there. Right, definitely right. in my top 10 hold, just because. Hold yeah, on. They have to be. Definitely the greatest tag team name in the history of TNA. Yeah. Okay. And by that's, far. That's where I was going. Yeah. No, no, no. Exactly. That's where I was going because sure, TNA. Sure. Over America's Most Wanted. Well, no. Yes. No. I like Beer Money. Beer Money is mean, I, I, I do one. too, but. Like. Like, because TNA hasn't really, if there's one thing they've been weak at is, is producing memorable tag team names. And True. even the tag team division hasn't been that great. True. Historically, it's been a lot of recycled nah, tactics. because they had recycled, the city machine guns. They they've been relying on oh, singles talent. Yeah. You know what I mean. And so that's been a weak point of theirs. But beer money, they got that right. Beer money is yes. classic. A classic name. Yes. Again, going back to that money ink theme, it fit the two dudes. Yes. One of them was about beer. One of them was about money. Right. Beer, beer money. money. <laughs> like if WWE ever purchased, if they bought W, uh, excuse me, TNA and the rights to that. Not the GFW stuff, but if they ever got TNA stuff, I could see TNA uh, being incorporated into the new WWE games in terms of their talent, like uh, like Beer Money, for example, you know, or like a young AJ Styles, things like the X Division, things like that. I can start seeing yeah. that for sure because you they guys, have some great things going you on. You guys remember Boogie Nights? Tag Is this team? Disco Inferno and Alex Wright? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, that was a good. That's a good tag team name, though. They were like literally just dance. <laughs> Luis is giving me the puzzle look. Like what? <laughs> nah, not me. <laughs> <laughs> No, nope. I mean, nope. yeah, it's funny. Wow, I think we definitely surpassed fifteen. No, definitely I, well, five we're, each. we're going, we're going. What about the head shrinkers? The, ooh, oh man, head shrinkers, interesting. Great tag team. What about the Samoan SWAT team? Oh, faces or the of wild fear. Samoans. Do you guys remember the faces of fear? Yes. yes, yes. Great tag team name. Great tag team name. In fact, of the three tag team names we just mentioned, that's the best one. Faces of fear, head shrinkers, and Samoan SWAT team. As the faces of fear, that was their best tag team name. ECW got to shout out the Pitbulls. Yes. Tag team name. Now, That's do you right. take the Pitbulls or the British Bulldogs? Who do you go with? Oh, British oh, Bulldogs, alliteration. Yeah. Come on. It rolls classic. off the tongue. Yeah. Oh, yeah. It's got more of a classic the, sound. Come on. Pitbull number one and Pitbull number two. That's what they that's what their names are. <laughs> Pitbull number one and hey. Pitbull number two. It was easy to remember their names, bro. They were whack. <laughs> <laughs> okay. What do you guys think about the Allied powers? 
Oh. <laughs> British it's Bulldog and Lex Luger. It's not bad. Again, I'm trying to see past the can talent. I, I'm trying to look at the name. Can I can I can I say something? Go ahead. I felt like that's one of the most wasted tag teams of all time in name and talent. I could see it. Allied Powers. What a great name. Yes. Yeah. America, UK, and again, UK. I was trying to see past the talent. Four it's a great power. name. There's a bunch of power. Oh there. my gosh, what a great name! And then they wasted it. Yeah, they wasted it. You got Team Hell No too. I'm not too. Did you guys ever wish Big T, aka Ahmed Johnson, and WCW would have created his own nope. tag team? Nope. With Stevie Ray. Nope. Instead of the whole Harlem nope. Heat thing. Nope. Nah, nope. I wouldn't no. fit. Did you like what happened? Did you like Ahmed Johnson down? in his prime and Booker T in his prime? That would have fit. Nah, I would like that. I wasn't that. even sold on that. I wanted Ahmed just to be solo. Big T when he was in WCW. I'd rather him be a solo. Just no. Nah. What about Men on a Mission? What a horrible name! Uh, <laughs> <laughs> what you had the, the Oscar rapid coming down? Uh, and then once they lost Oscar, the name didn't even fit no more. Who was the? They had no O. <laughs> they were just Men in Mission. <laughs> <laughs> what about Power and Glory? Power and Glory, great tag team Hercules name, with Paul along Wayne. with Strike Force. Strike Force, yes. Strike Force, Strike great Force tag was team classic. Name. Was definitely was. You said the hype, bros. <laughs> <laughs> We're not gonna get into it. So back to the Strike Force. We had Tina oh, okay. Santana and, and, uh, the Rick model Martel. Rick Martel. You know what oh mean? man, the hype, bros. The rid- what are Why do you guys the think the WWE can't come up with great tag team names anymore? Because it's a reflection of their storyline creation. And it's the same thought process, the same minds. Yeah, it's you know, know their unwillingness to 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 revamp. I think I, I think I, they're letting the wrestlers think come up with their own tag. Team I don't think names. they let the wrestlers come so? up yeah. with it. I don't think so. I think so. Breezango? Yeah, I don't think the wrestlers come Breeze up. Breezango? That's, that's fashion like a, files, fashion that, police. That comes from the storyline. That's more of the fashion oh. police. We start hearing less and less of Breezango. We hear more about the fashion police. I, I don't know. I don't know. I think the WWE has been letting these guys name their own tag teams for a while uh, now. Because I don't think I don't think Breeze Angle was like I don't think uh, let me tell you, let Tyler me, Breeze right. and, and do we Vince Angle was like let's combine let's our combine names. names. Let's combine our names. I don't think he is. I also don't think Vince McMahon was saying that. No, I think Vince McMahon was like you know this is one decision I want to have. I totally any part see him of. saying that. Con- concern me with something more important, like Beetlejuice. <laughs> yeah. Make them Breeze Angle. Yeah. yeah. I can I, totally see him. What do you guys think about the Enforcers? Larry Zabisco and Arn Anderson. There. Great tag team. I like this. It fit the times too. It did. It fit Arn Anderson. Enforces. Definitely. He, it was already his name. You knew they were a crew to yeah. reckon with. What about Flying Brian Pillman, Stunning Steve Austin, the Hollywood Blunts? Oh. I was going to mention that. The Hollywood Blunts. I thought you guys would laugh at me. Uh, Doesn't do it for you? No. Nah. The Hollywood Blunts? I think that's a great tag team. They're I was never a blunt, fan of the name. Although none of, neither of them were from Hollywood. That kind of. It fit it. their gimmicks. <laughs> kind of killed it. Yeah. I, I, uh, that too. I mean, I can't because Brian Pittman was like a dirty blonde though too. Like, and Steve Austin was losing his hair. Yeah, I mean, he <laughs> yeah. Was like, yeah. yeah, took away from uh, that. You know what Slightly. about uh, what was it the American males? It was a uh, the American males. Marcus Alexander Bagwell, Scotty guy, Riggs, Scotty Riggs, who then became. I mean, Scotty Riggs. I, I'm always gonna remember Scotty Riggs. I remember Scotty Riggs as part of Ravens flock. Yeah, but <sighs> come on, with the eye patch. Yeah. Arr. What about no. the flock? No, because I, I see them more as a faction than anything. Horrible faction name too, yeah. by the way. Powers of Pain. You know what's crazy? I, I've been watching Powers of Pain's great. Powers man. of Pain. I watch the network from time to time. Like I, I delve into like different episodes from like the eighties, the nineties mostly, and early two thousands. And I'm a fan. Like I I see a lot of things that I didn't like before and I, I become a supporter, I understand it more. With uh, you know, obviously, I, I have a more mature mindset now. The right to censor. It's more of a faction than it's more of a faction, but they yeah, had but the still tag team good tag belts. Team. They, they still tag team has a good free name. Bird but we, go, we got to hold true to the true to the name, man. Right to censor but was a faction. The right to censor. It was a faction. It was pretty. It was a pretty <sighs> powerful name. If you look back on it, go back on the network, like I just said, and you'll realize, wow, these dudes were good. But there was a faction. entertaining. And the name really fit what they were trying to do. And really, if you look at the effect they had, the right to censor, the era changed after them. They kind of segued the whole Attitude Era kind of like into the PG era. You know, like I'm not giving them the credit, but just like the way it played out was just crazy. I can't can't do it, man. The right to censor, I think they put the impact in their name. They made it work. That's like the Straight Edge Society. 
And that's that was like dudes like the Godfather, Val Venus, uh who Molly was? Holly. Stevie Richards. Stevie Richards. He was the leader. Was it Molly Holly? Uh, Molly no. Holly Victoria? Ivory. No. Ivory. 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 She was Ivory. good. She was, was good. Ivory? Yeah. It was Ivory. Molly Holly I wasn't it because them. she's no nope. Molly Holly was straight edge. She yep. shaved her head. Nope. That was Serena. No. Molly Holly was in right to censor. She did end up joining. Did she? Yes. Are you sure? I am it's positive. Not memorable. I am positive. I'm not too sure about that. Mm. Not too sure. You know, uh, I'm trying to think of another tag team. Crash Crash and Killer Bees. Killer Bees, B. Brian Blair. Horrible tag team name. <laughs> Horrible tag team name. But Jay, you said the name earlier that I think a lot of people forget about. The powers of pain. I think anytime you got the word power or the word pain in your tag team name is gonna be a name that resonates. Powers of glory, power and glory, authors of pain. It fits. It does. It does. What about some current tag teams? Where do you see What's the best current tag team name? I mean, looking back like at Los Guerreros, Ugh. it falls into like the Usos. You know what I mean? It's like the same kind of concept. It's like And, I, and then you've got like the New Day, that's more stable ish. That's a you horrible know, tag name. team. Those are horrible name. Hype Bros. The bar, hype bros. So again, going back to what we were talking about, like where are these names coming from? I don't think the talent's coming up with them. I don't know. I don't know. The names aren't that creative. It's just like I just don't know how a guy who came up with creative tag team names for 20 years, 25 years, all of a sudden just decided to come up with these horrible right. names. Right. So I would love to know, now that we're talking about I never wondered this. I now that we're talking about this, it's like, tag team names. who was the one coming up with this stuff? It's got to be hard, too. Before. It's got to be hard to name a tag team. And I'm sure you got guys like Jim Cornette yeah. who had a lot of input yeah. in, in people's careers and names and branding as we've heard from, you know, firsthand like Thrasher when we had him on. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, like Ahmed Johnson. You know, yeah. you, you know, there's no denying a little influence from Jim Cornette as well. And so that's the thing. I, I, really I think, I think you're right. I think, I think we're, we're Dusty Rhodes. We're devoid of great wrestling minds who can c- come up with these names. Right. It's the team that you build around you. Yeah. So yeah. that's kind of a reflection as to where WWE stands now. I'll tell you one thing. Hype bros. Don't do it for me. <laughs> no, not at all. Hype Zero. bros? Hype bros. Even if I saw that in paper, I had no idea who Hype they were. Hype bros. I wouldn't pick them. <sighs> Hype bros? No, nah. I'm good. What about Legacy? Legacy it's is right. a great good name. tag team name. Good name. Great tag team name. It fits. Both the guys yes. were you know, second generation, third generation superstars. They fit. A great, great tag team. Yeah. I like it. I'm with it. Legacy? I was a fan. What about 3MB? 3MB. I think the name was Corny. The talent was overlooked. Yeah. The talent no, it was doesn't, correction. It doesn't yeah. remind Freebird, me of a I good time. I guess you say Freebird. Yeah. Freebird rule. Yeah. Uh, talent was definitely overlooked if you look at it now. I know. Right? Definitely. But three-man band? That's a great name. Mm. <laughs> I still find it on the corny side. Survey says. <laughs> All right. All right. <laughs> three-man band or Rock and Sock Connection? Rock and Sock Connection. Oh, my God. If they if they came back together as three and B, would you be a fan of that or should they have a different name? Oh no, you can't call them three. They, they, can't, they, can't, even, they can't even come back together. Two exactly, talented. My point exactly. <laughs> Rock and Sock Connection comes back together. People are loving it. Right. <laughs> two but not three and B. No, I think they'd be a fan. It'd be like the Shield coming back on. No. I'd rather. I'd rather what? Watch. Because but it's we, the second coming. Did you just hear what he just said? No, no, no. Not three and B, not a, okay, three not B versus the Shield. That'd be something to watch. Because you're thinking three and B from. Back I'd watch day. that. Yeah, no. three and B now. I'd rather watch three and B in the Shield than really? Mister Raj versus the Shield. That'd be huge. That's really? money. You're talking about NXT champion, the WWE champion, yeah. and Heath Slater. You know who versus else was NXT the Shield? Champion? You know Bam. who's the longest reigning NXT champion? Bo Dallas. Okay, uh, out of here with that. Yeah, Stuff, I guess man. So. He's hey, part I of your so. freaking Bo entourage, Dallas. your stable. And Bo Dallas talking about names should be in the Wyatt family. Uh, when that, really say it again. Different subject. <laughs> oh, <laughs> right back so. No. Right back so is not a great tag team name? No. no. Uh, they do, another they do combination. Right back so? <laughs> another Stop combination. Right what about high energy? Mm, not original. Kind of sounds like high voltage. It's like. But high, it was Owen Hart and Coco Beware. High energy. Boom, yeah. boom, it's boom, like boom, high boom. jumpers. Let's, 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 something else that I never liked. Whenever they put new in front of something, the new rockers, the new Heart Foundation, <laughs> right. the new Midnight Express, <laughs> it never works. No. The new Blackjacks. Right. Such horrible names. Speaking of the Blackjacks, what do we tag team names? I would have liked it better if both were black, though. (laughs) (laughs) Two black guys known as the Blackjacks. 
I can't. I, I can't. Yeah, really listen, we we, we just put out some great right tag right team now. names, but I think I think one thing that we decided is that the greatest tag team name of all time belongs. The two greatest tag team names of all time belongs to the same tag team, the Legion of Doom, the Road Warriors. Hands down, by far the greatest tag team name of all time. I so, can put my uh, hand up to that. I just gotta say, so uh, New Age Outlaws doesn't make a push up there. No. Huh? No. Do we count D Generation X no. as the that's a stable? Team? That's a stable. Yeah. But I'm saying, like, in the latter years. That's not even a good just, name. That's not even just, a good name. It's, it's not even Shawn a good Michaels name, anyways. Them. It's not even a good name, anyways. I'm just saying, it was it, in the latter years? No? All right. So we're coming up with our, our collective unsanctioned podcast top three. Cut it down. Shut it off after this. Oh. Top three Legion of Doom number one. Legion of Doom number one. Legion of Doom number one. Number two? The New Age New Outlaws Age goes up there for me. New yeah. Age over in uh, New I'm Age going with Demolition. Over the New Age Outlaws. I'm going Demolition. Really? Over Demolition. The New Age Outlaws. Uh, one one word. It was just one word conveyed Demolition. the message. But True. Demolition was kind of a ripoff of the Legion of Doom. Yes. Right. That's how good the Legion of Doom is. That the first, second, and third best names. <laughs> we're thinking names. We're thinking names. Names. Yeah, just the names. Demolition's a great name. It is a great name. And I think it's better than New Age Outlaws. You guys might disagree, but I'm going to say, say it New might Age be. Outlaws Can we tie it? Can we tie it? Uh, we'll tie for two. We'll They're tied for two. two. They're tied for two. Okay. Uh, honorable mention. <laughs> <laughs> Number three. Oh, he man, said top a, three. One a third. Number three is the, the hardest. Oh, I thought that you were about to say the Hardy Boys. Can- I was about we to some- flip <laughs> the table. <laughs> <laughs> we, had, we had some good candidates. Uh, this is true. Oh, this is tough. You got to lead off number. with number three. Oh, man. come on. <laughs> Put the spotlight over here. Yeah. Number three is harder than number one. There's so many to choose from, and What's it's more of like a three? Free, you know, free range type of thing. Your vote for number three would be? My vote, ultimately, for number three. It's the bar. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> He's talking about flipping tables. You just got about to hit some glass oh, breaking man. in here. Oh. I was about to throw a chair through a window. <laughs> oh my goodness! Honestly, like I have to, I have to give it to the creativity of the willingness to be silly, because it was coming off a very serious era. My number mm-hmm. three would be the Rock and Sock Connection. That's why. I, that's why I would justify it. Ladies and gentlemen, I have to take a breath for a moment. It wouldn't be my third option, but I, I think Luis is making a parody of this their right own now. Opinion. <laughs> the Rock and Sock Connection. I told myself I want to get angry today. <laughs> it's 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 a good name. It's a good. It's a good. It's but a is good it top name. three good? No. Really? Exactly. Hey. No, it's not. You're right. No. Is it top ten but good? That's what I'm what, 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 what right would now. you put it in this place? Well, it's not within the top twenty. Okay, but what what would you put as your third? For me, it's a hard one, and it, the, the reason why it's coming down to a hard one because it's between Money Inc. and Beer Money. Okay. Mm. Mm. And I would have to kind of slide it to Money Inc. because they were the originals. Money when, Inc. When it comes the to the money. name could still work today. Yeah, if, if cool. they like, I, I think true. if there was no Money Inc., Beer Money kind of wouldn't have been in the play as a name. Mm. That's true. Yeah, you know I mean, so I, I have to go with Money Inc. Uh, yeah, I'm uh, with you on that. Cool. I was torn in between two team names that we already mentioned. I mean, you still got the mega powers and stuff on there too, cool. but mega powers is a great name. But it goes back to the alliteration. One of those names was Harlem Heat. Harlem Heat was a great name, but mm. the name I ultimately went with was Powers of Pain. Powers of Pain. Powers oh, of, of pain? pain. Yes. Mm. Yes. Powers of Pain. The pres- uh, pop. I mean the warlord and uh, the barbarian. Barbarian. Well, there it is, ladies and gentlemen. Ladies and gentlemen, we want to hear we want to hear from you guys. <laughs> we want to hear from you guys. Make sure you guys you know check out check us out on Twitter at unsanctioned pw. Uh, make sure you guys uh, email us your top. I you know, mean top fifteen twenty. How many you guys want to go into listen? Your reason why? Email us at unsanctionedpodcast at gmail dot com. We want to hear from y'all. That's if we left them anything to to say. To suggest. Listen, if, well, there, if there's a tag team that we didn't name that you can think of <laughs> when we already said high voltage, we get co- at us. We covered like two hundred six names. I know high voltage. High voltage. <laughs> Just ball barking. With, with chaos. <laughs> chaos. <laughs> Kenny Chaos in something rage. Yes. Yes. That was their name. That was but ultimately, their name. the best tag team name. Boogie Nights. <laughs> the best name is Unsanctioned. Yes. And Unsanctioned is the best tag team slash faction name. Absolutely. Period. And with that being said, I'm Luis Vasquez. You can follow me on Twitter at Luis Vasquez 617. 
I'm Jay Holland. You can find me at J O City, J A Y O C I T Y, unless it's on Facebook at that 781 at the end of it. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, and I'm Julio June. You got to send the eagle. No more pigeons. He's he's high class. He's high maintenance. Size. You got to send them. We're Ameri- doing endangered birds now. Yes, endangered <laughs> birds. You got to send the American bald eagle for Julio. Brought to you by Amazon Prime. <laughs> no, it is not. <laughs> All right, All right Jay, hit him with the line. Oh, man. We are now being sanctioned, so we are now signing off from the Unsanctioned Podcast, man. Thank y'all. Much love. Like I said, much feedback. We want to hear from you guys. Give it to us raw, uncut, unfiltered. This is Unsanctioned. Let's get it. Oh my, bring the grind to the track. If you get money, only show me where you Show me where you at. Show me, show me where you at. If you get money, only show me where you at. Smoke loud, I'm addicted to the poet. Cruise 42, time for the Frank Ocean. Swag turned up.